All right, we're going to be making a pillowcase today using the burrito method. And we're starting with three cuts of fabric. The body of the pillowcase is 27 inches long. Here it is here, 27 inches long. Then we'll have a decorative strip. This is a two inch piece that's been cut selvage to selvage and folded in half. And then the cuff is nine inches, again, selvage to selvage. All right, just and that will come. So look how cute when it's done. Okay, step one, we've folded the uh, little decorative piece in half and pressed it. Now I'm going to open up the cuff. My sewing machine is set for straight stitch and I'm going to line up the open edge, the raw edges with the cuff. I'm not bothering to center it. I'm actually going to align everything with one corner one end. So I'm just going to set this up here and I can pin it, which uh, may be a little easier. I usually baste it, but pinning is not a bad thing either. Okay, I'm just going to put in a few pins, not a lot, because these are going to end up coming out and being repositioned. We're actually going to end up repositioning our pins a couple of times. So I'm using big quilters pins with a big head so I can get at them quickly and move them rather than the little bitty sharp ones that just bite your fingertips. Okay, there's another and the last one over here. This way I've lined up the opposite end, edges of the fabric. This way Anything that's extra will all be on one side, and we'll trim that off later. Now, on top of this goes the body of the pillowcase. Now, this is not a directional print. I'm not worrying about that. And this is going to overlap, again, lining up the edges. And now I'm just going to take these pins out and or use other pins. I've done that before, too. And this way I'm going to get smart and I'm going to angle the pins outwards a little. Get all the way down here. Let me get this machine out of the way. There we go. I'm just making sure it's flat. I'm not making this all crazy. But lining everything up. And the last one is right here. See how much bigger this fabric is than the others? That's a surprise. Okay, last pin. Now, here's the burrito part of the recipe. So we have all our layers underneath here, the cuff, the decorative edge. I'm going to take this side, the opposite side of the body of the pillowcase and fold it up. It's not going all the way to the edge. And then I do not want it on the edge. I don't want it to get stitched in to my cuff seam. I'm just gonna roll this up like that. And now the cuff comes up over the top. Junk. And I start down here in the end again, line up the edge. Remember, the roll is not in the seam, just the two sides of the cuff the decorative edge, and one side of my pillowcase body. And now I rework my pins for the last time. There's the last one. Second to the last, here's the last guy. Right here. Okay, so my sewing machine is set up with, you can use cotton or polyester. Polyester can be a little stronger than the cotton. And I happen to have my quarter inch foot on here. If you have your all purpose foot, that's fine too. Okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit again. Here we go.
This is a 2.5 stitch length, and I'm not taking an exact quarter inch. I want a little more. I'm gonna make sure I catch all of the edges of the fabric. But I'm just using my finger as a pin to hold everything in place because I pinned pretty far apart. Let's pull it to straighten it all out. Make sure you've got all the edges. See that slipped a little bit, so let's put that back in place. I was not a very good pin. Okay, so I just did a couple of back stitches, and now we're going to turn all of this right side out. It's kind of the magic part here. Okay, so here we are, unroll all of it, ta-da! Okay, so here we are and you can see it's a totally hidden seam, it's on the inside, just like that, and we should press this, make sure it's all pressed completely out, want to stop for that? <laughs> 